Nearly two decades after its final flight, this sleek, intimidating aircraft sits unused despite its unmatched potential. The SR-71 Blackbird is the fastest manned jet in the world and earned that title by skipping across the Atlantic at a time previously unheard of. But the Blackbird wasn't just fast to set records. It had to be, to collect much needed intelligence while staying out of harm's way. Then Khrushchev's shocking announcement, a United States Air Force plane shot down on Russian soil. Reportedly, an ultra-secret, high-altitude reconnaissance craft. Even before the Soviets shot down an American U-2 spy plane in 1960, the CIA wanted to advance the country's aerial reconnaissance capabilities. By 1968, the upgrade was ready, and the SR-71 came out of the hangar for its first mission over Vietnam. Unlike previous spy planes, the U.S. and President Johnson publicly acknowledged the existence of the Blackbird. That could have been in part because of the political embarrassment President Eisenhower dealt with following the U-2 incident in 1960. Either way, it allowed the U.S. to put the SR-71's capabilities on display for the world to see on September 1, 1974. The dramatic curtain raiser to the show is the arrival of the American spy plane, SR-71, after an incredible transatlantic flight of one hour, 55 minutes, nearly twice as fast as Concorde. In less than a third of the time it takes a commercial flight, the Blackbird sped across the Atlantic from New York to London in just under two hours. It also cruises at altitudes up to 85,000 feet. When it touched down in London on September 1st, the Blackbird and its pilots became the stars of the Farnborough Air Show. It's congratulations to Major James Sullivan and Major Noel Widderfield as they descend like spacemen from their Blackbird after the record-shattering flight. Just two weeks later, the Blackbird set another record, soaring from London to Los Angeles in under four hours. Both records still stand today, years after the Blackbird's final flight in October of 1999.